Here we go, time to start the engine swap. Got this thing in the barn, about to drain all the fluids. I don't have the engine hoist in here yet. Uh, that is going to come in tomorrow, but I'm going to drain all the fluids. Hopefully I can fit it through that space, um, or that, probably fit it through there. <coughs> Borrowing that from my uncle, that's why I don't have it now, but figure I got time. I have nothing to do, it's only 10 o'clock at night, and I'm wicked night owl, so drain some fluids. Uh, if you didn't notice, I did scrape coming up. This is a rather steep incline. Um, can't really see it. But that's a rather steep incline. Uh, exhaust was already broken on this thing. I really don't care. That's what the OBX exhaust is for. Definitely going to make some ramps when I bring the sedan up, though. That way I don't destroy any of the hangers or anything. But this thing's going to a junkyard. See if I care. So let's uh, drain some fluids. So, got a decent amount done. It's been like an hour and a half, two hours. Got all my oil drained. The guy torqued on the, uh, previous owner torqued on the bolt so hard I had to use a breaker bar over there to uh, actually get it off. I'm not used to having to do that. Uh, I got my hot side and cold side taken off of the turbo intercooler. Uh, got the intake taken off the turbo. Um, starting to take apart the airbox now. Right now it's draining out all the engine coolant. Uh, next will be transmission fluid and then power steering. Uh, I have a lot of vacuum hoses and shit that I'm gonna have to take off. This thing's gonna, this is gonna be some effort, but on the name of 200 plus horsepower, hopefully, uh, assuming I get this thing done. I'm feeling less uh, confident than I did when I started, now that I'm looking at this and taking it all apart, but it'll get done. It's just uh, whether or not I win that five-day bet with Steven. Let's see. <laughs> 